Time for another video about treatment of ADHD with stimulants. This time I will be using amphetamine. This is um, amphetamine sulfate in a watery solution. And the issue is that in Germany we do not have any ready-made pills like uh, Adderall or whatever that is available in the USA. We only have Ritalin in pill form and if you want amphetamine you have to use it in a solution so you have to order the pure amphetamine and get it either in pill form or in a watery solution in a syrup sort of. Um, yeah, currently you probably noticed that I did not eat breakfast or take any of these drugs yet. So um, I will first of all be ingesting a lot of glucose to uh, supply my brain with readily available sugar. Um, then I will be doing a concentration test to compare it to how I um, how I succeed uh, with amphetamines later on. Then I will also eat breakfast and take the amphetamine. And after about half an hour or so, I will be measuring my blood glucose levels for the first time. I will not do this all that often today because I don't have any of the sticks left to measure my blood glucose levels. And um, I will also measure my uh, body temperature. And this is a peak flow, the, the lung function sort of, because um, amphetamine is supposed to make your bronchus dilate. So I should, in theory, probably have a better blood glucose, uh, a better lung function on amphetamine. And um, I will be measuring my blood glucose again later to see uh, if it actually drops as fast as with Ritalin because on Ritalin my brain consumed that much sugar that my blood glucose levels actually began to drop after a lot of mental work so we'll see. I'll be measuring my blood pressure of course which should increase on amphetamines and I will be using my good old uh, intensive care monitor for monitoring of the ECG, the electrocardiogram and the pulse oximetry. I also have a uh, blood pressure meter on here but I do not have the fitting cuff yet so we're gonna have to do with the little blood pressure measure thing whatever okay so initially my body temperature temperature is 37.2 degrees celsius and my peak flow is about 420 or something liters per minute so let's see how that compares so this is my initial reading on the intensive care monitor. You can see I have a heart frequency of around 80, an oxygen saturation of 95% and a respiratory frequency of around 30 in a minute. Okay, so this is my initial blood pressure, 145 to 77, the pulse of 78, which this machine roughly says as well, but 145 to 77 is what matters. I will now proceed to take <coughs> approximately 10 or more like 11 milligrams of amphetamine orally, that's why the syringe is for, it's just for dosing, I'm not going to inject it of course, in case you believe that, so let's see if anything happens, there should not be any immediate effects except psychological effects, but we'll see. Well, I was just messing around with my left hand where the pulse oximeter is on and this made my uh, 
made my oxygen saturation drop. But not for real, it was just because I was messing around with the hand with the sensors on. And the heart rate increased as well while I was messing around, but this is also physiological and has nothing to do with the amphetamine intake. So you can see it's normal again. One hour and fifteen minutes after taking the amphetamine, my body temperature has slightly increased by 0.2 degrees Celsius. However, my lung function did not change at all. Not in a peak flow anyway. Okay, this is about one hour and fifteen minutes after taking amphetamine. My heart rate has slightly increased. It is now over 90. But also my uh, oxygen saturation increased to 98. It used to be 95 before. Now it's slightly better. Well, let's see what happens if I keep still. So the conclusion is that my heart rate has slightly increased and my oxygen saturation is much better. As you can see, 98 now. And as for my blood pressure, this is really weird. I measured it in exactly the same way and it's 126 to 74. So my blood pressure actually decreased instead of increasing like it should when uh, taking amphetamines. 126 to 74 with pills of 87. I have to mention that I feel much more relaxed and at ease now, so maybe it is a psychological effect with my blood pressure, but it's really weird because um, really when taking 10 milligrams or over 10 milligrams of amphetamine, your blood pressure should really increase and not decrease, so that's an interesting effect. Sort of the adverse effect that can happen with ADHD, I suppose. I just measured my blood glucose and it's 122 milligrams per deciliter. As I said, I just had breakfast and I also had a lot of grape sugar, so that's quite normal. Let's see if it decreases quickly though. This is the result of the concentration test and it's quite interesting compared to Ritalin because um, with just the sugar but no medication at all, I managed to get seven and a half lines within three minutes. But I made no mistakes or noticed them immediately. Um, well, I used to do many more mistakes when I did the Ritalin trial. The thing is that I have been on amphetamine before, like yesterday, and amphetamine has a much longer half time, so probably I was still affected by amphetamine here. I don't know. And for on amphetamine, I, um, if I made mistakes, I noticed them immediately, immediately as well. And I managed to do nine and a half lines. About three hours after taking amphetamine, my blood glucose levels have dropped to 76 milligrams per deciliter, which is still in a normal range because um, I did not eat anything since breakfast. So uh, that's kind of normal and it's also different to Ritalin because Ritalin used to make my blood glucose levels drop really quickly. Well, this is not the case with a longer lasting and uh, slower onset working amphetamine. That's quite interesting too. And this is my blood pressure again, 128 to 83 with a pulse of 69. So that's really well. Uh, not very typical for amphetamine because if you take amphetamine your blood pressure as well as your heart frequency or pulse should increase. And it did not do that in me.